hey loves welcome back to my channel welcome to happy space guys so this video today is an updated version of liquid soap making and its preservation so i got a lot of questions from the first one i made so this particular one i decided to break down everything for your understanding from the chemicals that i use how to process it your protective equipment that you should use and everything you guys so this is just a detailed like it's also detailed i had to give every details of it so yeah that is just everything so if you want to see everything definitely keep watching and don't forget to like share subscribe do anything you always do with my video so let's get straight to it Guys, these are the names of the chemicals I will be using to produce this liquid soap. And here I have nitro soap, 50 gram. I have soda ash, 200 gram. Caustic soda, 40 gram. STPP, 60 gram. SLS, 50 gram. Sulfonic acid, half a liter. Foaming booster, half a liter. Perfume, 300 ml. Formal formalin, 300 ml color 20 grams and water 20 liters you guys so yeah this is just what i will use to produce 20 liters of liquid soap like as i always do i always do 20 liters because i don't have the container for more than that so yeah these are the chemicals i'll be using to produce this liquid soap you guys so if you want to see ask more questions on this and also for the abbreviation like the scpp and the sls you guys so i will leave the meaning of all these things down the description box for you guys to see. so let's continue So let's get started. Before you start, make sure you cover yourself with all the protective equipment that you have, like the nose mask and the hand gloves. So it's very, very important before you touch any chemicals so that your hands can be safe from the chemicals. You guys know how hazardous the chemicals are. So yeah, that is just me wearing my protective equipment so that I don't harm myself with the chemicals this is a 20 liters of water i'll be using for this production and before i start i share the water into two i removed five liters from the 20 liters to pour in the blue bucket you guys so the first mixture i'll be mixing i'll mix it with 15 liters of water which is in the white bucket so i'll mix it with 15 liters of water first of all before mixing that of five liters of water so i remove five liters of water from the 20 liters of water and put in the blue bucket
in the 15 liters of water mix together nitro so caustic soda and the soda ash this is the first chemical to mix before any other thing so make sure you mix this in this 15 liters of water stir very well and set aside before going to mix the second 5 liters of water with the chemicals In the 5 liters of water, you mix the STPP and the SLS together. STPP and SLS in the 5 liters of water and stir very, very well. When stirring, make sure you stir and dissolve the chemicals. Let the chemicals dissolve in the water because it's very, very necessary for you to stir well and allow the chemical to dissolve. So, this is just the SLS and the STPP mix together in five liters of water and don't forget to stir <laughs> Once you are done mixing the chemicals, you bring them together by pouring them together in one bucket. So yeah, this is just how it is. So you have to be very, very careful. If you are using 20 liters and if you are using a container that is not as big as my own. So I just had to be very, very careful when I was stirring it. So yeah, that is just how everything is. And at the end of the day, I had to share the chemicals in the two buckets so i had two buckets of this chemical after mixing them together The next chemicals to add are the sulfonic acid and the foaming booster. Being that I have two buckets of these chemicals, so I had to share the sulfonic acid into two and also the foaming booster, you guys. And it's very, very important anytime you add any chemical in this process or in this production, make sure you stir very well because stirring is very very important so if you want to get good consistency if you don't want your chemicals to be very very long to have a lot of lumps stirring is so so good so as i finish adding the sulfonic acid and 
the swimming booster i went ahead to stir stir so well you guys you have to be stirring you don't have to get tired of stirring you have to be very, you have to be stirring so so well so yeah this is just the I've added the two chemicals, which is the sulfonic acid and the foaming booster, and you stir also. <laughs> So these are the last materials we'll be adding into this liquid soap production. So I'm adding the color. I decided to just switch the color a little because the last production I made was lemon color and today I decided to just use yellow to see how it's going to look like you guys. You can decide to make yours without color and definitely to come out fine so maybe the next one i will do i will just do without the color to see how it goes so i added the color i added the fragrance which is the perfume and i added the formalin which is the preservative you guys so when you are done adding this last product or this last material so make sure you stir very well for you to get a good consistency you have to stir stirring is very very important in this production is so so good for you to stir so this happens to be my last and after i stirred this so so well i left it for 48 hours you guys so that the chemicals will react so allow it for 48 hours for it to have a chemi good chemical reaction because it's so so good once you allow the grow chemicals to react before you start using them so yeah i just added everything i stirred so so well so this is just the last thing i added to this my production and the color was something else you guys <laughs> guys just look at how good this looks like right now this is the final result you guys this is the final look after leaving it for 48 hours i'm so excited you guys and i'm so much happy that i've been able to break this down for everybody to understand and also to give you details bit by bit for you to understand so if you're still confused or if you really don't if you don't really understand this just ask me any question at all i am so happy that i was able to 
answer all the comments I got from my last production and for those of you that sent me mails I'm so so happy that I was able to answer and respond to you in my own little way so this is just the end of it if you're confused in any way but I believe this you must have learned one or two things from it but if you're still confused don't forget to leave your comments down the comment section and I'll be so so glad to respond to all the comments thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for always supporting me i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys